So, hello and welcome here to the second tutorial about the Karma rendering and the new Pyro FX tools in Houdini 18.5. So, in the first tutorial, as you might know, we have created this uh, firestorm here, this meteor shower, or whatever. It's just a quick reminder. Of how fast you can set up something inside of this setup and now to render your explosion in karma whatever it is you first of all need to create a sop import so the sop import is pretty much importing your fire smoke whatever explosion geometry into the karma environment so here on the sub path, I point right to my out. I created in the first lesson. Go hit and accept and wire this into a material library where I here created the material in the post process tab in the look um, in the look tab here. So here you can specify, like you already know from other material libraries, that you can create your explosion material here. And when you have tweaked your set settings, go and create matching material. When this matching material is created, it will be created here in the VEX builder. I already copied it out right to the stage in the material library and pasted it right in here. So Karma can read the material and point it over to my camera. My camera is uh, here at the No Cam tab. So hit your camera and also don't forget uh, to wire in some dome lights to make your uh, explosion visible to light and shadow and you can also go to the base properties and change here some hdri which is then calculating the image data from the light into your scene. So in the last point of this node tree here, we have the Karma Render Properties. And in the Karma Render Properties, we can adjust uh, the uh, resolution, how many rays are shooted, um, the noise level, the noise threshold, which pretty much is an indication for the noise in your image. And we can here set the exposure of our dome light to something a bit higher. And to activate Karma, go here to this perspective tab. We have Houdini GL, we have Karma, and we have Storm. So switch to Karma and see how the magic is happening. So pretty, pretty great release. And while we are rendering here the Karma explosion, we also can go and make some adjustments in our trail path. For example, we can go to the look section and make in the trail generation the velocity a bit smaller the bottom spread a bit higher um uh, we can't we can't do that we can't make negative values so we can add some direction noise and you can see we now have a a wonderful velocity tree here especially very cool for the upcoming Christmas time in a lockdown environment in a pandemic 
pandemic world where, where the virus is spreading all over the world like my little arrows are doing here so uh, some fun next to this very uh, interesting tutorial um, let's hide the grid here and we have also ballistic properties we can adjust the drag the mass the start frame the trail duration as you can see you can shorten or make it longer you can also clip everything just to make your spreading an explosion like you need for your project so but in our case i want to make something new with the power burst source hit y on your keyboard and this little skizzer here appears and you can cut this connection and you can wire your power burst right into the tree so we see it's bursting very short like a little fart in the air so let's get some more duration like 24 for example and you can see it's now lasting longer but what i want to do is making some more spikes in the in the direction so we change the trail separation something like this and the trail length and you can see now it's like a little supernova happening here on your computer so the thickness first components we have burn like burn baby burn flames are keeping higher okay that's not funny i think i'm very boring at the moment so let's make this a bit bigger we have our attributes here like i already explained in the first tutorial we have our volume rasterize attribute here and finally the pyrosolver magic node so as you can see it's very blobby i don't like it the art, art director hates it and the crew is really upset because everything is so mushroom like but at the moment it's, mu it's mushroom time so go to the forest and collect some but take care it's not from Chernobyl because you will get a third eye and some green fingers from it but you can see that with the new GPU solver everything is very fast very reliable and cool to control so in the post pyro post process we have the ability to make the color of the explosion a bit better. So, we have a density scale of 2. I want to take out the emission and make some more. And I switch now back to Karma. And you can see it looks like something that cannot happen because the wiring was not right so there we go and I turn it around and it's pretty much still something that looks really convenient very common to us it's a mushroom cock okay that is not so funny and with some settings here you can see how the power burst source is actually spreading out and creating this kind of mushroom explosion here but you get a get kind of an idea um, how this is influencing your explosion in a very drastic way so I also activated in the volume rasterize attribute the velocity blur, put down the voxel size to uh, point, 
zero one and you can see now how this is creating this initial burst here firing out from the center of your grid and you can also if you like make the center of your grid in the place you need it so here it's pretty much now uh, in the middle you can shift it for example to 10 then it's on the bottom and you can see how this is also getting an effect from the shredding I activated in the power solver so the smoke pretty much gets some nice uh, little puffies here it's not so uh, straight and you definitely should go and play around with the settings because it's so much fun with a fast graphics card even now in 3080 years uh, RTX card that nobody has because all the bots and mid bitcoiners bought them before you can click after five settings in the order button and this is so much fun when nobody actually has a 3090 card because they are all sold out in five seconds but the odd graphics cards also do the job so wait until Christmas is knocking on the door then I think the new graphics card will lay under the tree okay let's for the last step I want to switch over to karma again you know karma is coming to everybody and you can see here that I actually put out my dome light I will put it back in oh no a dot network we don't like that we want a dome light and we want some HDRI <clears throat> so if you have a specific topic you want me to cover in Houdini or whatever you like in digital production just write me an email or a comment and I try to find the time I don't have to make this um, tutorial here on VFX Hive to raise the awareness of awesome tutorials, funny steps and little giggling behind the monitor. So big shout out to all the fans. Stay safe. Take care. Stay civil. And leave a comment and subscribe and whatever you need to make this clickbait channel working more and more. No, seriously, take care and stay healthy. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. See you soon.